Today we're going to be at an interesting spot. I've only hunted this place a couple times, like three or four years ago, and I found a ton of neat stuff from World War II. I found artillery shells, I found smaller uh, anti-armor shells, bayonets, stainless steel mess trays with a date stamped in it. It's a really interesting spot, and I'm hoping I you know, missed some things last time. Like I said, I've only hunted this place twice, and it was quite a while ago. In fact, it was before I started using the Garrett, so... I'm hoping that maybe with a different machine I'll be able to hear some uh, other water is very murky today so we're not going to get any good underwater shots but you know we'll do what we can let's get to it okay we're going to start right here this is the log that I set my uh, shells on last time I was here three or four years ago there was a bunch of logs and stuff here that have washed away now in the floods over the past couple of years I'm very hopeful we will find some more things right here you can see there's an old folding bed right there at least that's what I think that is. I'm sure there's a lot of junk like that in here, but there's some pretty neat stuff too, so I'm very hopeful. And there's so much iron in here. Um, what I'm going to do in this little spot is I'm just going to kind of magnet fish. I'm just going to take my magnet and go under and just pick up the iron and see what it is. Uh, I've been finding a lot of junk, nothing I've kept yet. All right, what I have here, i got my magnet. I can hear tons of iron. It's a little too deep for me to go under and just poke around. Plus the um, river's uh, really yucky today, so I don't want to. I'm poking around here as we're talking. Okay, here's something really solid right here. It feels heavy too. Nice. Hopefully it's a shell. Yep. Yep, there's another shell. That's a World War II armor-piercing 75mm anti-tank shell. I found that just poking the magnet along the bottom. Let's take a closer look at it, make sure it is a solid shot. Okay, so looking at this thing a little closer, I can see there's no fuse in the nose. There's no fuse in the bottom. So this is a solid shot, perfectly safe to handle. It's just a solid piece of iron, but isn't that cool? So let's get the magnet out and see if we can find some more. But I'm going to go right down to where I found that last one and see if there's any more right in that spot. Nothing yet. Ah, there's one. There's something good here. That's heavy too. That's probably another one. Come on. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come to Papa. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, let's check it out. Make sure there's no nose fuse and there isn't a base fuse. Good. Yeah. That little indentation in the bottom is just a little hole in the steel. That's where they put an incendiary uh, mixture. So it makes it a tracer round. But again, that's just solid steel. Sweet. Let's try for another one. There's a lot of uh, trees and brush underneath there, so I think if we move that out of the way, eventually we'll find a lot more. No, I don't feel any right there. So I'm slowly working my way up along, and you can see there's a lot of submerged logs and stuff in here, so this log jam didn't really get washed out, and I think there's a ton of stuff underneath there. I got another nice uh, signal here. Well, it's not really a signal, but my magnet's got it, so it feels like another shell. Let's look at it. Oh yeah. All right, fuse, there's no fuse in the nose, no base fuse, another safe, solid shot. Number three, so you can see the, uh, the dates on it, look at this thing. What that says is 75 millimeter M72, which lets us know that it is a solid shot. And that's 1942. It's kind of hard to read, but that's what that says there. So we number three. All right, let's poke around a little bit more. Yeah, there's another one. 
Take another one already. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. No fuse in the nose, no fuse in the base, looks good. 1942, just like the other one. Very sweet. Okay, let's try for another one in the same spot. Nothing. Ah, there's one. Something else iron there. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy, so it's probably another one. Well, I tell you, there's probably hundreds of them underneath these logs here. Let's see what it is. Come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely another shell. Sweet. Let's check the nose. Okay, let's see. No fuse in the nose. No fuse in the base. It's another solid shot. I'm in slightly deeper water here. Um, finding these things now. This is really cool. Look at that. These are canister rounds. These were fired out of um, small uh, artillery pieces during World War II. And apparently these are highly collectible because out of everything I've found from World War II in this area that I've had on my other video, this is what people seem to want. So. Um, I got a little nest of them down here, so let's see if we can find some more. Yeah, I'm not liking this here too much today. You can see all these, uh, see how nasty the water is. See all those bubbles coming up. It's really muddy underneath here. See those bubbles? That's methane, so it's uh, horrible smelling, and it's just, uh, I, I, I don't want to go into water. It's a little too deep for me to get underneath there, but I can have tons of good targets in here, though. You can hear them. Nice squeaks and grunts, but if it's not iron, I can't get it with that magnet, and I'm not going to stick my head under water today. So, sorry about that. Maybe next time. Okay, well, I got a boatload of them, as you can see. The kayak's getting ready to go under, and it has to hold me and all these, so I can about ready to quit for the day. But what I ended up doing is a huge pile of them here. And uh, you can see all these uh, logs and whatnot, but they're up underneath the logs. So what I'm doing is just taking my pick and... Uh, Feeling around, digging with my feet too. I have these little, yeah, well, there's little booties on, but I already got a hole in it once, so I gotta be really careful. But I'm just digging around with my feet and not even using the metal detector, but just sticking the magnet up under the logs like this and uh, finding them. And I can actually feel them with my toes normally, or my feet as I'm going along, and I just stick the magnet down in there and just clunks on here. Here's another one right here. Oops. I have to get a good bite on it though, otherwise it won't... It's hard to get them up because they're underneath these logs. Yeah, hold on a second here. Let me cover it just a little bit more. Yeah, it's definitely another one. Clean the magnet off. That gets a good bite on it. Alright. Let's go get her. There we go. Ah, that's... Yeah, he's... I have to shake it a little bit, maybe. Nope. Oh. Alright, I think I have a hold of it now. Find my pick. I don't know if I can find my pick. Here she is. Hold on now. That thing's really stuck. Must be, might be a couple of them down there. Try to clear some of this mud off of my foot. Yeah, a lot of mud down there, man. All right. All right. Hopefully now we can get it. There we go. Oh, 
There's another. Let's check the hole real quick. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's another solid shot. Nice. One more. That's all my boat can handle and we'll be under. So let's get one more and we'll quit for the day. I don't feel any more right now, but we're gonna go ahead and quit for the day because I don't know if I can even make it back to the boat launch. So <laughs> with me in there, it's gonna be tight. All right, let's do a wrap up. Just doing a little wrap up here. I'll show you what I found today. I actually had to quit because I have too many in my boat. I ended up with about 30 of the um, Sherman tank rounds. These things here, see a bunch more there. So I only got a couple of the canister rounds, uh, but there's probably, I don't know, it could be a couple hundred more out there. There's just tons of them, but they're all up underneath the log. So I have to go slowly to dig them. Uh, but wow, man, that's a heck of a day, isn't it? 30, 75 millimeter, Sherman anti-tank rounds from World War II and they're all dated. Pretty sweet if you ask me. Well, we'll come back again. I'm going to wait till the water clears up so maybe we can get some underwater shots. But uh, until then, I hope you enjoy this one.